Hi, my name is Dylan and I'm a collaboration architect for Tezrex. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to discuss how to integrate Cisco's WebEx Teams video integration with Microsoft Teams, also known as VIMT. So what is VIMT? VIMT enables Cisco and SIP capable video devices to join Microsoft Team meetings. So meetings can be scheduled or joined either using WebEx clients or Microsoft Teams clients. Let's discuss VIMT's architecture. Well, Cisco's WebEx Cloud supports a featured SDK bot that synchronizes between the WebEx Cloud and Microsoft's Office 365 Azure Cloud. So to perform this integration, we need to have admin access to both the WebEx Admin Control Hub and Office 365's Azure Cloud Portal. Let's begin the integration. The first step is to verify that the VIMT license has been provisioned by Cisco after we've placed our order. So from the WebEx Control Hub, navigate to Services, Hybrid, and look for Video Integration Microsoft Teams, and make sure that it says Setup. If it doesn't, you'll need to reach out to Cisco, or us for that matter, and we'll help you further. The next step, step two, is we need to verify our SIP addresses and make sure our company's WebEx domain is correct. So under Management, select Organization Settings and do a search for SIP and make sure the calls.webex.com and the rooms.webex.com URLs are there present for your domain. If they're not, select Edit a subdomain and add those appropriate URLs. It's very important that you do this before you begin the integration. Step three, let's start the integration from the WebEx Control Hub GUI. So from the WebEx Control Hub, navigate to Services, Hybrid, look for Video Integration Microsoft Teams option, select Setup. Read the dialog box and make sure your Office 365 admin cr credentials or at hand. Now select Authorize and you'll now be prompted for your Office 365 login details. Log in and verify the permissions and select Accept. Now take a screenshot and copy that output from both dialog boxes into Notepad. Do not select OK. This may only be done once you have performed the PowerShell configuration. Step 4. Access PowerShell and enter the appropriate PowerShell commands. Each organization has unique requirements, so I won't go into depth with those commands now. So if you need further for clarification, reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you. Step five. Next, let's verify the integration was successful. So from the WebEx Control Hub, navigate to Services, Hybrid, and look for the video integration Microsoft Teams. Make sure it says operational. Select edit settings and now make sure that the fields say operational. Step six. Once we've scheduled a meeting from Outlook, WebEx Teams or from Microsoft Teams, we'll now see an additional field that gets appended to the calendar invite. The first one shows a meeting scheduled in WebEx, and you can see there's an additional field appended for the Microsoft Teams users. The second invite shows a meeting scheduled for Microsoft Teams. Note that we don't ever need to enter any conference ID manually because WebEx supports one button to push, and this will be further explained in another video. The key point to understand here is you can schedule meetings using both your Microsoft clients and the WebEx client or Outlook. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative. If you've got any questions about anything I've shown today, you can find my LinkedIn or email address in the description. We've helped many companies deploy Cisco solutions, so feel free to reach out to us.